All right, well here it is, the Hex bag. So I picked up this bag from Hex around Christmas time. I really needed a camera bag, probably just like you who are out there looking for that perfect camera bag. Better known on their website as the Glacier Camo Backloader DSLR Backpack, which if you're putting a DSLR in this, well, bless your soul. Uh, but it also works for mirrorless cameras as well. I love Urban Camo, uh, but that's not the only part I really like about this bag. However, it's not the perfect bag. So if you're here for me to tell you, this is the perfect camera bag, well, I'm not gonna do that. I really like the bag, but there's some love and hate here. So let's talk in detail about this bag and see if this bag or maybe another one is the right one for you. So let's talk about the outside of the bag and my first impressions. It has a traditional layout of any kind of backpack. Uh, kind of one really big compartment and then accented by another smaller compartment on the front. It has a flap that's exclusively for getting into your laptop pouch. Uh, that's secured by these peculiar bullhorn style clips. I haven't really ever seen anything like this before, but it seems to do pretty good. I was able to fit my 15 inch laptop into the slot and it looks very cozy and very safe in there. Under the flap, we have a small identification card slot. I don't think I'd put anything else inside of there other than um, maybe a little card that says, hey, this belongs to me. And then of course you have your access zipper for getting into the camera. This is where I prefer the access slot to actually be. I have seen some camera bags that have them even on the side or maybe even on the bottom. And I think that that's a place that's prone for accidents if you forget to zip something up. Maybe you've never forgotten to zip up your bag and have something very expensive fall out of it, but if you're like me, you, that's probably something that's happened to you, so I still prefer to have the zipper on the top for at least where my camera goes. So the back portion of the bag, or on the part that actually touches your body when it's strapped onto your shoulders, this area is very soft. It has a breathy kind of mesh that's very meshy, so that your back doesn't seem to sweat when you've been wearing it for a long time. Some people know what I mean. Uh, when you've been wearing the bag for a long time on a 90 or 100 degree day, uh, you just get that sweaty stuff going on on your back. This actually is gonna be a lot more helpful because you get some air kind of breathing inside of there. And it's just not gonna stick to your skin. Uh, gross. That also being said, because it's so soft, you won't be feeling the corner of your drone or some kind of awkward lens collar poking you in the back because it's significantly soft because of that mesh. The shoulder straps are also meshy and they have a clip strap for securing them together for doing long hauls or if you're trying to just take the pack for a long walk, it secures it better to your body. It has a little pouch on one side for a water bottle space, or even just sliding in a random item and using the little scrunchy thing to hold it in. On the other side, we can secure a lightweight and somewhat compact tripod to the other side, and I think that's awesome. The front pockets have a couple of specific use cases. There's one with a soft material, which seems like something made for phones or iPads. And then inside the main pocket, we have a couple of zipper chambers accented by a red meshy material. There's a cool ring holder and some pen pouches as well. Okay, so now we're moving on to some of the opinion plugs here on the bag. Just let me give you my thoughts on it, and obviously you can decide on your preference. There's thousands of bags on the market, so it's very much up to you what you decide. See, when you want your battery pack or you want to get a lens for a fast swap out, well, it's just a full commit. You got to lay the bag down on the ground, sprawl the shoulder straps out of the way, and fully unzip. Often I feel like I'm going to resuscitate my bag with CPR when I get to this commit type of position. Now, there may be arguments the other way for the clamshell type of bag that open on the outer side. And maybe that's what I would prefer. Even bags like the Peak Design Everyday Carry Bag, which at one point is something that I used to have, did have greater access points. But then again, you could always run into the issue that I mentioned before about not zipping everything up and then being accident prone and having things drop out of your bag. So while we're on the subject, a few other things to note when choosing a bag like this or a competitor, which is the side of the bag that you actually prefer to get dirty. If you're outside and you don't have a table or a box or a you know, clean space, you may find that you're just gonna lay this down on the ground. With this bag, the outside of your bag may pick up some dirt or moisture and eventually, the material might kind of crap out on the outside. However, at least the inside part that's touching you is still clean 
and it won't get on your clothing. I never thought that I'd be considering all these options until I actually own the bag and you take it out in the field and then you find, wow, there's just so many complications. So now let's move on to the inside. This bag is a 20 liter bag and I feel that that's the most common size of the bags in this market. It's not gonna be able to carry everything for a plane trip, but it could do something like a full day event or a short walk out into the wilderness. I appreciate all the storage flexibility this bag has, giving you the included Velcro compartment walls. You can remove them completely and just have a loose bag if you aren't keeping hardware inside, or you can finely tune the space inside so that it fits each item that you plan to take into the field. The inside lid of the bag has some compartments with additional zippers and some Velcro. I think the color-coded approach inside is more than just for style. My brain kind of works with the colors in the terms of red means important, like SD cards and storage, so that's where I keep it. Future Kenny here, editing this video. I've realized that I really haven't come to a conclusion on the bag, other than, other than I use the bag every day, and it fits my needs. But it's not a perfect bag, and there really isn't. You know, it's just like Sony when they came out with the a7 III. They wanted to make the perfect camera, but there's just that one or two things that they always leave out. And I feel like that's kind of what this camera bag is like. It's a 9 out of 10. Um, but maybe it suits you, maybe it won't. It's fine. There's plenty of other bags, and I'll leave links below about any of the other ones that I talked about, or any of the ones that I just think are like, yeah, that's a really good bag, but you know, I only need one, maybe two, not 20. If there's anything that I left out, ask questions in the comments. I'm the type of person who will actually try to go out there and field your questions and give some good responses. Uh, or I'll let you know, hey, uh, I actually did answer your question in the video. So that's it for now. I'll check you in the next one.